Hi, today let's continue playing and learning English with Stardew Valley. Let's look around town and introduce ourselves to the other people who live there. Before we go, let's water the parsnip seeds again. Done. We water the parsnip seeds. Now let's go into town. So we have a path here. You can follow the path. Beside the path has a sign. You read the sign. It points up to the bus stop. The bus stop. And it points to the right. Pelican Town. So we want to go into town. So we're going to follow the path to the right. Here, instead of the grow being ground, the path is now stone. You can see our first buildings. It seems to be a doctor's office. Or a doctor's clinic. You read the sign. It says clinic when it gives its opening hours, which are 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Here's somebody we can say hello to. Our name is Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Hello, Maru. We've introduced ourselves to our first person, Maru. Here is a big building and it has the name Pierre written on top of it. If we go here, there's a calendar. There's a calendar. This calendar tells us this season, which is spring. It is not summer. It is not autumn and it is not winter and it's year one our first year in Stardew Valley and it's Tuesday the second in this game there's no months it just goes it just goes through the seasons so that's why there's no months but we can see here M stands for Monday the T stands for Tuesday the W stands for Wednesday TH stands for Thursday F stands for Friday SA stands for Saturday and SU stands for Sunday. We can see, if we hover over them, we can see if we the, there's people on the dates and if there's a person on any of the dates, it means it's their birthday. So, this is Pierre's general store. So this is a shop where we can buy things. We can give them money and buy things. It's closed on Wednesdays, so it is Closed, closed on Wednesdays. It is not open on Wednesdays. We go in here. You can see that they've got lots of things on sale. Here we have some fruit and vegetables here on the left. On the right, we have shelves. We have lots of shelves with other products. And up here is the cash register where we can buy and the shopkeeper. We can buy and sell things with the shopkeeper. Welcome to Pierre's. Here we can buy more parsnip seeds, but we can also buy bean seeds, cauliflower seeds, and potato seeds. It also tells us how long, how many days it takes for the plants to grow. So we know it's going to take four days for the parsnip seeds. For the beans, it takes 10 days, 10 days for the beans. Cauliflower takes 12 days. And potato seeds take six days. Let's buy some potato seeds. Okay, so let's buy 10 potato seeds. It's all our money. Thank you, Pierre. Now let's leave. Oh, here's somebody else you can introduce yourself before we go. Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. And this blue haired woman is Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. 
We live in Sardew Valley, but the town itself here is called Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Let's see if we can find the saloon. Let's look for the saloon. Follow this path. There's somebody else, let's say hello. Hi. Hi, Marnie. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. Okay. Here's another building, and on it we see the name The Star Drop Saloon. This is the saloon that Emily spoke of, the girl with the blue hair. In a saloon, it can also be known as called bars or pubs. The saloon is where you can buy drinks, usually alcoholic drinks, and some of them also do food. So the name of this saloon or bar is the Star Drop Saloon, and in it, according to the sign, it does both food and spirits. Spirits is alcohol. Down here we have some benches. Let's sit on the bench. <laughs> we'll give ourselves a few seconds to relax, to breathe, and then we'll go again. <laughs> Here's some houses. There's a couple of houses. Outside the house we have a bin. A bin where you can put our rubbish, where you can put our rubbish. There's a tree here with a pink butterfly flying around it. Above the door, here's the door, and above the door is a steering wheel. It looks like one from a boat, a steering wheel. The house has two windows at the front and a third one up the top. Here's somebody else, let's say hello. This is Sam. He has blonde spiky hair and a blue jacket. He says, hi, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. So this house has two windows, one at the front and one at the top. And it also has a steering wheel above the door. And it has the garbage can, it has the rubbish can beside the door as well and also has a little pink flower growing in a pot so there's, they have a pot with a pink flower growing out of it we continue here's a path we can follow this path and here we are at a graveyard so here's a few gravestones this is where people when they died they were buried here lots of people come to graveyards Pay respect to their loved ones who have died. Here is someone else on the bridge. Let's say hello. There you are, Elliot. They have long brown hair and a red coat. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting and whose rival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Elliot says that the people in the town have been talking about us. And he also, he says that he lives in a small cabin on the beach. Will we have a look? Yes, here's the beach. And this cabin must be Elliot's. It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. We are not invited, so we can't, we can't go in to his cabin. Inside the cabin is a boat, a rowboat, rowing, it's a row, this is rowing, and that is a rowboat. It, beside it is an oar, we use the oar to row, we use the oar to row in the rowboat. On the beach we can see stones, you can see shells. Let's pick up a shell. There we collected a shell. Let's collect another one. Two shells. Here's some stones and what looks like the remains of a campfire. So this looks like some burned wood and some stones. So this looks like this was a campfire here. Here's a jetty. 
A jetty is a raised platform in the water, above water, and on this platform there is a house. Here's another person we can talk to. Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk moving into the valley. It's not very common these days. This person's name is Willie. They have black hair, blue eyes, a black dark beard, and they wear a hat. They wear a brown hat. They wear a brown hat and a red shirt. He's happy that we moved into town because he says there's not many, there's not many young people in town. Here is a building. It says fish on it. Willie is fishing and this is his fishing shop. Gone fishing. I'll be back tomorrow. The fish shop is closed because Willie is gone fishing. Willie is fishing. Here's some rope. There's lots of wood. Lots of broken wood. What's this? What is this? It's a cockle. Earlier we got one, two clowns. This is another type of clown called a cockle. Now it's getting late, as you can see. It's getting late. So it will soon be time for us to go to bed. To go to bed. First, let's check on that saloon that we were seeing saw earlier. Aha! There's a few people in the saloon. Let's talk to this woman with the purple clothes and the blonde hair. Her name is Pam. She has blonde hair and a pink pink top. She also has pur pink makeup on and she has brown eyes. Hey kid, the name's Pam. So that's Pam. Hungry, thirsty, I've got just a thing. They sell beer, which is an alcoholic drink. They sell salad. They sell bread, and they sell spaghetti. They also sell pizza and coffee. There's Emily again. She's behind the bar. She is behind the bar. Who's this man? This is Shane. They have purple hair, black eyes, a blue hoodie and a green shirt. What? What do you want? Go away. They don't want us to talk to them. Er, uh, hi, I'm Clint. Clint has brown spiky hair, a brown moustache, a brown goatee, or beard, a brown goatee, or beard, blue eyes, and he has a black and brown top. So Shane is beside the fire having a drink. Over here we see a big sculpture, a big sculpture of a bear. It's quite impressive, don't you think? Over here we have the arcade. This sign says it's an arcade. In the arcade, we have arcade machines, so video game machines, video game machines. We have a pool table, or billiards table, we have a pool table, where you have to, pool table is where it's a sport where you have to use your cue to knock balls into the holes. There's also a vending machine that sells Fizzy drinks. 
that serves fizzy drinks or soft drinks. And there's two sofas here too. Let's sit on the sofa. Let's sit on the sofa. Okay. We had a little time to relax. It's time to get up now. It's 11 o'clock. It's time to go home. It's going to be dark out. Oh, it's very dark. It's very dark. It's not easy to see. It's hard to see because it's dark. Let's make our way home. Well, there's no lights here. There's no lights here. It's a bit scary. <laughs> Aha, here we are. Let's quickly, let's go in our house. And go to bed. Good. Now it's Wednesday, the third. It's raining today. Today, let's plant the potatoes. Let's plant the potato seeds that we bought yesterday. Let's introduce ourselves to the other people in the town. Thanks for watching. Bye.